You don't have talent. You are not the one. How many of you have heard such words in your life? Quite a few of you. These words can ring in our ears until we finally believe them. As a result, we all become the prisoners of talent. Madame Cotester, fellow Toastmasters, and inmates of talent. What if there is another way to the victory? Do you remember the first time somebody told you you don't have talent? You are not the one. I remember it perfectly. I was a 13-year-old boy who just started high school. I had only one fear. English class. During the first lesson, a teacher asked us to introduce ourselves. It was an easy task. I barely could say the word out. The entire class burst into laughter. Afterwards, the teacher approached me and told, you don't have talent. You are not the one. I was heartbroken. But I wanted to prove them wrong. I promised myself, one day, I will speak like a native speaker of English. However, my adventure with English had its ups and downs. Nevertheless, I decided to study at the biggest English center in Europe. Guess what? I got successfully admitted. I finally believed I had Talent. The other students thought otherwise. They were betting I would be the first one to drop out. You don't have talent. You are not the one. I wanted to prove them wrong. Instead, the gap became more evident. First of all, they all had great vocabulary. I didn't. They also used perfect, proper grammar. I just learned English had 16 tenses. I only used two of them and still confused them. Finally, everybody spoke perfect American Hollywood accent. I polished my English. <laughs> the professors were laughing. In June, came an important pronunciation test. First attempt, I failed. Second attempt, I failed. But the third attempt, third attempt, guess what? I failed. <laughs> As a result, I was the only student who did not pass after the seventh attempt. The professor approached me and told, you don't have talent. You are not the one. How would you feel constantly hearing these words? I was frustrated to the point that these words were following me like my ex on Instagram. I couldn't think about anything else. The result? Eight more we take exams. I wanted to drop out. But while I was standing in the line holding the resignation note, I met Victor. Victor was a native speaker, easygoing American, working at university. He asked me, How are your exams? Not so good. Got few retakes. I don't have talent. I am not the one. 
Victor smirked at me and told, Yeah, you don't have talents. But you're exactly the one. You're the one if only you show determination and persistence. These were the words which led to the ultimate victory. I took matters into my own hands. I started learning new words every single day. I also covered all the grammar books I had and watched lots of series and movies with American beautiful accent to practice pronunciation. You know what happens when you no longer believe in talent? As one of the very few, I graduated from the university. I also became a teacher, translator, and interpreter. Most importantly, I can stand on the stage right now and make my dreams come true. Ever since, I have been well aware and some our talent, but our determination and persistence which guide us towards the victory. That is why all my appearances on the stage are dedicated to those who once been told they don't have talent. You may have no talent, but you are still the one. You are the one, if only to show determination and persistence. What is your choice?